guys! This is a stressful video. It's stressful. Because, Glee, this is my yearly favorite. It's gonna be long, so we better get started now. I'm gonna do some random makeup products and then some other beauty products. So this one I just discovered a few weeks ago. The First Aid Beauty Ultra Repair Cream. And this product is fantastic. Out of this world, it feels luxurious, it feels whipped. It's the only face lotion that sinks into my skin and actually hydrates it. From Sephora, $16, but totally worth the splurge. Next, I have a foundation. This is the Sephora 10 Hour Wear Perfection Foundation. This foundation is, although it's Sephora and high-end, only $25. And it looks so natural, it's just out of this world good. And the coverage is extremely buildable. I would highly recommend checking out this foundation. Next, I have the MAC. Prep and Prime Fix Plus Spray. Everybody raves about this, but trust me when I say it is so needed in your life. If your makeup is cakey and does not look good, this will fix it. If your makeup is perfect, this will make you even more perfect. The reason mine is green is because it's the Cucumber Limited Edition one, which is just super refreshing, and I wish that they kept making the Cucumber one. Who doesn't want Cucumber face mitts? Next, I have a concealer. This is the Clinique Acne Solutions Clearing Concealer. I use this just on blemishes, and this is the best blemish concealing, blemish concealing concealer that I've ever tried. It lasts really long, and it looks really natural. Then I have a blush. This is the Tarte Amazonian Clay 12 Hour Blush, and mine is in the shade Magic. It looks really really pink but at the same time it's almost a little bit natural looking then i have two lipsticks because i cheated i have the revlon color burst lip butter this is the packaging it's so pretty mine is in the shade peach parfait it's just a really natural rose gold pink lipstick i love these lipsticks the most out of any other lipstick i've tried because they're extremely extremely moisturizing and then i have a mac lipstick which is the complete opposite in a way because it's extremely drying and it creates lines it makes you look wrinkled you guys are probably like then why is it in your favorite um and it's just because of the color so this is the mac matte lipstick in the shade please me looks like this i am also wearing it yeah it's just the color the color is just perfect it's like the most pretty barbie pink lipstick of all all time. And then I have a couple of powders. This time not because I'm cheating. It's just because for different reasons. First I have the CoverGirl Ready Set Gorgeous Powder Foundation. This is really high coverage, especially with a liquid foundation underneath. It looks really natural. And then I have the Revlon Nearly Naked Powder Foundation. This has like next to no coverage, which is why I'd probably only recommend it with a liquid foundation underneath or a concealer, but it looks so natural, especially even even if you wear a foundation that's a bit of the wrong shade, this in the right shade will neutralize and fix everything. Then let's get into eye products. I have the Sephora Coal Expert uh, Black Eyeliner in number one noir. While the coal ones aren't necessarily like the only ones that are my favorite, I just mean that all Sephora brand eyeliners are my favorite. Any of their pencil ones or their technical ones that twist up, they are just so creamy. They're super easy to put in the waterline and they last forever. I've compared them to the MAC Technical eyeliners and their other eyeliners and I just find that MAC is usually a few dollars more expensive. It, MAC usually starts at like $19, $20 and up. Sephora can start at like $13 and up. But basically just for like a waterline black eyeliner, Sephora's are just creamier, a little bit cheaper. And then my favorite mascara of all time, and it's everyone's favorite mascara of all time, $30 in Sephora, the Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara. Mascara. This mascara just does everything. It separates all of your lashes out, coats all of them really well, separates them, adds a lot of volume, a lot of length. And then last is the Urban Decay Naked 3 eyeshadow palette. I'm noticing that all the high-end makeup has nasty names, like just so inappropriate. Why? I'll never know. But yeah, this is the eyeshadow palette. It has a ton of rose golds, some browns. It's a really warm toned eyeshadow palette, but it looks beautiful. And for me, this was totally worth the, uh, I think it was $65, probably 70 with tax up in Canada. And then let's just do random beauty favorites. First is my favorite scent 
that I've discovered. This is Pink by Victoria's Secret. Their Hot Crush Body Mist. I have a jumbo one. It smells like jasmine and warm caramel, it says. I don't think so because I don't usually like the scent of jasmine and I cannot stand caramel. It smells really fresh, really, really feminine. Packaging is cute. If I was to have a signature scent, this would be. Then I have the Body Shop Choco Mania Body Lotion, but basically the whole chocolate line of products from the body shop is my favorite. I love their lip balms. I love their, their body scrub, the chocolate body scrub, my absolute favorite of all time. It just smells straight up like good chocolate. And then I, I have the EOS Shave Cream in Lavender Jasmine. I also have their Pink Grapefruit one and their Vanilla Bliss one. You can use this on dry skin or wet skin. This is the only shave cream that I can use where I don't get a single cut. The brand Organics, the brand itself, if you pick anything I find like from that line for your hair just works great. It does not let you down. My all-time favorite ones are the Keratin Oil Shampoo and Conditioner. This is just great for any hair that is really dry, damaged, tangled beyond all belief as mine usually is. This just helps save it. It's more expensive than things like Dove or Pantene or Herbal Essences, but it's worth that splurge. And yeah, so that long video was my yearly annual favorite. So if you guys like this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up. Comment down below and let me know any product of yours that was your holy grail favorite product of all time, um, whether it be skincare or makeup. And subscribe to my channel for more videos because I'm coming out with a lot more. And I'll see you guys soon. Bye, guys.